Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by RootTube. This video begins with assisting students with calculating the area of simple 2D shapes and then progresses to assisting students with calculating the area of composite shapes. Students will study the area of 2D shapes in junior secondary school from year 7 to year 9. Two learning objectives for the video. The first one is to calculate the area of uh, simple 2D shapes like triangles, uh, various quadrilaterals and circles using specific and relevant formulas. And the second objective is to calculate the area of composite shapes. Okay, so before we um, sort of get to uh, a lot of the concepts and the content, um, I think it's important um, to list out these uh, measurement formulas, which students will often be uh, provided with um, or have a chance to create their own um, in an assessment setting for measurement. So uh, the area of a square is calculated as length times length or length squared. So it's important to understand that in a square, there's no uh, length and width, there's just length, okay? Because all of the sides are the same. Okay, so it's length squared for the area of a square. For the area of a rectangle, it's length times width. The area of a triangle, uh, you can use either one half multiplied by the base multiplied by the height, or base times height divided by two. Okay, both will give you the exact same answer every time. Area of a parallelogram um, that has two sets of parallel lines is the base times the height. Uh, area of a trapezium is equal to one half multiplied by, and then in brackets, A plus B, um, A being one side length and B being, being the other side length, um, and then multiply by the height of the trapezium, which we'll have a go at um, very soon and the area of a circle, which is calculated as pi r squared or pi times radius squared. All right, let's have a go at working through a few examples for finding the area of squares, rectangles, and triangles. So let's have a look at the first one on the left-hand side. So find the area of the square below. So you will see that we are given one of the measurements, which is four centimeters. And with a square, uh, it's really important to note that all of the sides are equal uh, as I said before. So with a square, all four sides are always equal. So what we do whenever we are uh, calculating um, anything in measurement, we always begin with the formula. Always begin with the formula first. So let's write that down. So the area of a square is equal to L times L or L squared or length squared. Okay, either way is totally fine. So because we know that the length is four centimeters, we can now simply just substitute that value into the formula. So the length is now four times four, which becomes 16. Okay, now when we are answering measurement questions, always include the units, which in this case is centimeters. And whenever we are calculating the area, it is always in our square units, which means it's always to the power of two. So this question, the area of that square is 16 centimetres squared. Moving right along to the area of the rectangle below, um, we have now been given two measurements. One is our length and one is our width. Okay, Your length is always the longer side. So this one here is L and this one here is W. And now once again, we always start with our formula. So it's going to be the area of a rectangle is equal to L times W, so length times width. Write that down first, and then we can substitute the values in. So the length is 9, and the width is 4. And therefore, 9 times 4 should be 36. Once again, include your units, and don't forget to make it squared because we are calculating the area. An area is once again always calculated in square units. And the third and final one for this part is to find the area of the triangle below. So now, once again, let's write the formula first and then let's work out which measurements we need. All right, so the area of a triangle. I personally prefer to use, remember, there's two formulas we can use, both are exactly the same. I prefer to use one half multiplied by the base multiplied by the height. But if you use base times height over two, it works exactly the same every time. Okay, so the height and the base is what we need. So the height is from top to bottom. 
which is that measurement there, which is the five centimeters. And then the base is this one here, which is the 10 centimeters. So we can now substitute the values in. So we've got one half multiplied by B, which is 10, and then multiplied by H, which is five. And therefore you can either do it manually or, multi uh, or on the calculator, which should give us 25, once again, centimeters and squared. So there we have it. Always start with your formula, then substitute the values in, and then work your way to the final answer, ensuring you include your units. And please make sure for area, it is always squared units. All right, and let's continue with finding the area of uh, simple 2D shapes. So we progress to finding the area of a parallelogram which we have here. So we have a four-sided shape, quadrilateral. We have our uh, two sets of parallel lines, which indicates that the shape is a parallelogram on the left side. So now let's write our formula and then let's look for uh, what we actually need in terms of our measurements. So our area of a parallelogram is equal to base times the height. Oops, base multiplied by the height. Now, it's really important. We have been given three measurements here. We've been given three centimeters, we've been given 3.6, and we've been given nine. Clearly, one of them we're not gonna use because we only need the base and the height, okay? Now, hopefully you'll be able to identify the three is clearly the height because it's from top to bottom, okay? And the base is this one here, which is hopefully the same as that measurement there, so nine. So the reason why we don't use the 3.6 is because that's, well, that's not the height and it's not the base. It's actually what we call the slant, but we don't need to know about that yet. So we're actually just gonna leave out the 3.6. We don't need to include that in our measurements whatsoever. It's almost a trick. So the base is going to be nine and then the height is going to be three. And therefore we can multiply those two numbers, 27, once again, include your units and then make sure it is squared when we are calculating our area to so 27 centimeters squared and now the final one is to find the area of the trapezium below so once again let's start with our formula so we've now got the area of a trapezium is equal to and then our formula from one of the previous pages, one half multiplied, then in brackets, we've got A plus B multiplied by H. So we've got plenty of stuff going on here. So like I said before, A and B are the, um, the two horizontal lines. So A can be the six and B can be the 10. Therefore showing that the seven is going to be the height. Now, once we have worked that out, then we can substitute the values into the formula. So we've got one half and then multiplied A is six and then B is going to be 10 all multiplied by our height, which is seven. So then now I might do this manually rather than uh, using a calculator. So we've got one half multiplied by the bracket is going to be 16 multiplied by seven which is therefore half times 16, which is eight times seven, which is gonna be 56. Okay, so then 56, and then in this case, we've got meters squared. All right, and let's finish off the video by having a look at calculating the area of a composite shape. So find the area of a composite shape. So a composite shape is a 2D shape made up of uh, two or more shapes. Okay, so here, hopefully we can clearly see that we have a shape, um, a composite shape that's made up of a triangle on top and then a, a rectangle. So what we do when we have a composite shape and we're asked to calculate the area is we need to break the composite shape up into um, specific shapes, all right? Because we can't, there's no formula to calculate the area of composite shapes. There's no one formula, all right? So what we need to do, we need to break it up. So what we're gonna do, we've got this shape here, which we'll call shape one, and then this shape here, which we'll call shape two. So for shape one, let's just worry about shape one, that rectangle, and let's work out the area of that shape first. 
So the area of the rectangle, we know the formula is going to be length times width. We know that. Okay, so let's label our length and our width accordingly. So now we can just work out the area of that rectangle by multiplying 21.5 multiplied by 10. Okay, which will give us 215 centimeters squared. So that's the area of that shape there. Then what we do is to work out the um, area of the second shape, the triangle above, I'll just get rid of that there and we'll just move it to the side. So number two. Now, what we need to do, we know it's a triangle, so let's write our formula. So area is equal to one half multiplied by the base and multiplied by the height. Now, do we know what the base is? Well, the base is that dotted line there. We know what that measurement is because it is over here on the base here of the rectangle. So that measurement there is also 21.5 centimeters. So we have our base of our triangle. What we don't have, we do not have the height, which is that distance there, that dotted line. Um, I'll just highlight it in yellow. We don't have this distance here yet. So we need to work out what that um, measurement is, and that is our height. So if we know that um, the if we know that this measurement on the left hand side that I've just colored in green is 10 and we know that the entire height of the uh, composite shape is 16.2 then the yellow height of that um, of that triangle is the difference between 16.2 and 10 okay so we can just do it over here just in our working out so we've got 16.2 minus 10 will give us 6.2 so the height should be 6.2. So now we come over here and we now work out our base, which we know is 21.5, and we work out our area of the second shape, which is a triangle, and then is 6.2. So then our area is going to equal, we put that straight into the calculator, and that will give us 66.65 centimeters squared. So now we've got the shape one area, the shape two area, and now we can work out the total area, which is 215 plus 66.65. The total area of the shape is 281.65 centimeters squared. So our final answer is this one here, highlighted in yellow. Thanks again for tuning in to another RootTube video. If you enjoyed or learnt a thing or two, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be sure to upload some more maths videos shortly. Catch you next time.